Hi there! Today I'll show you how I created my 3x3x3 LED cube. First, let's go back to year 2018, when I built my first version of an LED cube. On this breadboard you can see an 80 mega 328 p At first it seemed to work without a problem, but I noticed that after a bit of time some LEDs stop working. But it turned out that if I kick them with a bit bigger amount of current, they come back to life. I thought it might happen because I salvaged these LEDs from an old flashlight. So I built a new cube consisting of 27 brand new LEDs and I didn't notice any problems. I designed a casing for this thing in Tinkercad and printed it on my Ender 3. Finally, I can sit back and enjoy my creation. Wait. What? What the f- I connected an oscilloscope across one of the LEDs. And there are spikes of up to minus 30 volts. So it's not a fault of LEDs. I managed to get the same effect with only one LED. Here's the circuit and it's simplified schematic. I added a fast diode in series with the LED. Here's a 1N4148 diode. And this solution reduced the negative spikes below 2 volts. So I put 9 of these diodes on. And here's the result. <laughs> As you can see, these huge negative spikes are still there. But I came up with another way of detecting these over voltages. I connected an LED in parallel to the LED of the cube, but in reverse polarity. And here are the results. So I left it working for one hour or so. And everything was fine. Well, I think my problem is solved. And I noticed that before my modification, some of the LEDs on the bottom were glowing a little bit when they were supposed to be off. But now, this problem is gone.
Here's the schematic of my cube. It doesn't differ a lot from schematics you can find on the internet, except for these 9 diodes. And I've seen some diagrams without some of these resistors, which are very important and shouldn't be omitted. And if LEDs die again, I'll be forced to put 27 of these diodes directly across every single LED. Just like this. But I hope it will not happen. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.